Mapucha Kaduna Tren Attack Nigerian Buhari government paid a 6 billion naira ransom to Fulani terrorists. Hello, great viewers, welcome to my noble channel. Now, according to the news of today, following the release of all the adopted victims of the Abuja Kaduna train attack, over 6 billion naira was paid to terrorists to set most of their captives free. What they are saying in essence that they have paid 6 billion naira cash to, to, to flourish terrorists hence men. To me it's Allah to release some of the victims, not all, some of the victims. Nigerian government now negotiates with terrorists. But at the same time, they are busy attacking freedom fighters and their security outfit that was created to stop the same Fulani terrorists that they refuse to stop in our land. Who is deceiving who? This is why I had this contract from Kona, Nigeria. I hate this country more than every other person. But I cannot because of that. And send our youth to footless journey when they don't have a good weapon to stand these people. This is billionaire we are talking about. If channel to something important, if channel to all those youth who finish university and no job for them. If giving just five or hundred thousand naira for Baben Saloon or for some kind of little supermarket or some kind of small, small businesses, more than 12,000 youth will be removed out from poverty. More than 12,000 youth. If giving one, one million to each, more than 6,000, about 6,000 youth will be removed out of poverty. But Nigerian government has refused to do things like that. Rather, they prefer to channel their energy to the terrorists. They are the ones that created these terrorists. They are the ones using the money made from the oil from our land to sponsor them. Because what I see is sponsor. They are sponsoring them. To continue to buy weapons, to buy ammunition, to buy different things. And sometimes these soldiers that call themselves generals, they will come out here and start talking trash. Especially this one that says, claim he comes from Abo or, or, or what? What is shame? That our Nigerian soldiers cannot go into the forest and fight these morons when they have not kidnapped anybody. Is when they kidnap people, they will not start running, scatter everywhere. Trying to prove what is not there to be proved. Buhari government is a terrorist government. First of all, he brought this terrorism into Nigeria. Him in collaboration with Terrify. And Tinibu. Yes, I say Tinibu because he was his right hand man. He knows what he was doing. Upon that, he forced the people to vote for him. In fact, he was busy sending Abrus, Jabudas, to attack Ibo stores in Lagos because they refused to vote for the Buhari government. And today, you have brought that to the river again with another terrorist, Shetima, to become your president. That is an cup of tea. What we are talking about here is that we must exist from this contraction. But Bia France should realize that existing from a contraction forcefully, you must plan well. You must plan well. You must have what it takes to exist so that you will continue to fight 
if you know it will take you five years to continue to fight until the united nations the eu that means international the war powers came to the time that these people enough is enough they must be given their duly right not sending some small small teeth with AK-47 in the name of trying to go into arm struggle and they will be massacred in no time after that they will start bombarding innocent people in the land if you want to go into armed struggle you have to make sure you have what it takes so that you will protect that land nobody will pass nobody will move talk less of killing innocent people in the land i agree some must die but it should be we who are fighting that struggle that who are trained to handle that arm struggle not the other way around not innocent people who is supposed to protect this is what i'm talking about some of you don't understand you are there in desperate or here in desperate you are making noise sort of noise you will do this you will do that you do that you do that as what is as about that let's fight what do you have to fight that's the question let me tell you something i start from from a child i hated nigeria till i grew up and i always attack them in different ways because i hated the nigerian government and the atrocities they committed against innocent pia france children and this is what i don't want it to repeat again itself again because if we fail for the second time they are going to use us for mismit we are finished so anybody who is planning for any armed struggle should first of all plan well not because people you have viewers that run away from other people's channel because of your sweet mouth about uh, doing this doing that something you know that you cannot be able to achieve unless it's well planned we must exist for this contraction they are busy going around Niger data in the name of searching for all it is what are they we are the ones who use the locals to lead that pipe the same nigerian government governors in pit of pit of hell and soldiers we are not stupid we're not stupid almost some of my life i lived it in click so i know what is going on there there is no how a local can do something without the military standing by him there's no how they can take her all year from that place to some neighboring country to sell without the so-called military or navy officers knowing about it they are busy why they are busy for threatening us in our land massacre upon massacre every day by day they are busy paying flying terrorists ransom six billion for a year they have spent not less than 100 billion paid to these people and they continue to buy weapons ammunition different trend type stainless every the way and these are the things they are using to attack you these are the things upon that the so-called leaders who have in Biafra land has continued to fool themselves all we ask is for mandate mandate to have one mind and believe me Fulani will be, will be shown to the back door before just three months this was not before that British was busy adding them propagating fake news I am a man of fashion but at the same time I use my initiative I'm not like some of you who are in social media making run ten from here to here because you have followers that left other people's channel to follow you but at least plan well before you put the life of innocent tibos and all that ethnicity in Biafra land in danger Six billion.
billion naira just for a few few Abuja Kaduna trainer train victims train attack victims six billion naira ransom pay to flying terrorists but they are busy taking the life of innocent youth in Biafra land they are busy taking the life of innocent youth in Imo State. They are busy taking the life of innocent youth in Ebu State. They are busy taking the life of innocent youth in Anambra State. They are busy taking the life of innocent youth in Enugu State. They are busy taking the life of innocent youth in Abia State. They are busy taking the life of innocent youth in River State and the Delta State. These are fake people, fake government, terrorist government, collaborating with the outsiders to kill their own people. Who are those ginger weed in the forest that they have refused to go after? Rather, they prefer to continue to pay them ransom all the time. And they are using this money that why you pawn. You know why? Because Flani government know what they are doing. They are doing everything possible to equip their people. And you are busy. Talking about election. Don't get it twisted. I've made my point known from the beginning. I don't believe in Nigerian election. I've never voted in my life. Go and ask question. But you cannot come out on an issue. Issue one nonsense. You are not our leader, Mazinan Kalu is. Until the day he came out from there and tell us that today we are no longer going to do this this way. We are going to go into armed struggle. Then that will happen. I've said it. I will be one of those who will be in command, who will be ready to champion this, this so called armed struggle. I am brutally minded. You can't beat it. Ask question. Colombia for so many years teaching people how to play martial art. But at the same time doing what I know how to do best. Kuwait for at least one good year teaching people how to play martial art but at the same time doing what I know how to do best you can't beat it my brother I don't want to start mentioning all oh, this whole thing have to stop it has to stop but our brothers and sisters should learn how to have small patience. You don't stay in desperate, continue to make noise. You will do this, you will do that. Giving people a K47. What is a K47? How many rounds does a K47 have? If really we want to go into armed struggle, like I said before, we have to plan well. Don't allow people to continue to deceive you. Tomorrow, uh, maybe just uh, a few military men with a few more tank, you will see them running kata kata. At the same time, innocent people will continue to be wiped out. If we really want to go into such things, we have to make sure we are well equipped and ready and willing so that we will not move no matter what. We will stand the fight until the end of time otherwise they are going to use our sisters our mothers like miss meat what they did in the war raping them to this time today they produce different different saboteurs everywhere if not both the ones they raped why the war has not started yet. 
people are called Zokalo. They born him from Fulani man. And that is why he has continued. People are opposite them. That is why they have continued to eliminate innocent people. People like Wike. I've said this and I'll continue to say it. They are going to pay for the atrocities. People like David Omai. Enough for, for this whole trash. We have to do the nephew. But the truth is that we have to plan well, not the other way around. They prefer to pay six billion ransom to people who are kidnapping our people, who are tormenting the country, and they have paid no less than hundred billion in just in a year. This is a government who is not a terrorist government. They brought these same people who are tormenting us today in our land. They went outside the country searching for people to vote for them. They brought criminals. And today, that is the thing, you, the show you are seeing everywhere. And they are here telling us nonsense. When it comes to innocent freedom fighters, with the help of the Igbo governors and Biafran governors, they will aid them to massacre them. But when it comes to their own people who are the real terrorists, they will be paying them ransom to acquire more weapons so that they will continue to kill, to maim, to rape, to kidnap more people. And when the time comes, they are going to bring them so that they will use them to tackle you. Some of them now are in military, causing mayhem in Igbo land, kidnapping and everything. They are part of it. Upon that, some people don't want to borrow sense. They think uh, recruiting 100 men. Will be the way you are going to go into Armstrong. You people have to go and learn. You have not learned anything yet. I don't hate anybody. I've said this before. But people should watch what they do and what they say. All we need to advocate to our people is to tell them not to go into voting. That is all we owe them. But to tell, to come out to vomit rubbish from your mouth that uh, there will be no election in, in, in Bethlehem land. Who, in which authority are you saying certain? Who do you want to put your life in danger? Innocent youth of Biafra? All these useless military men recruited from Bukhara and we see, get that opportunity to massacre and say, but, ah, you're not going to even stand. You will run like a chicken. This is what you people have. You people we do for concern all these so called uh, 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 things you are recruiting in Nigeria in, in the Biafra land have they ever stand have they ever stand when the military are coming rather they will find their way and military will have continued to massacre innocent brothers dumping their dead bodies in mortuary in more and you are here still talking about because uh, some of you are in despair. You come out to social media, you talk around, you run like fools. And when we try to advise you on what to do, you are we be there around ten. Do you know the meaning of sabotoir? You are the sabotoir. People like us and some other people who see the things and say it the way it is openly without fearing anybody. We are the real brave men and the heroes who have in this struggle. But rather, you, some of you who has refused to understand that they don't fight Nigerian government with empty hand or with few people are the ones who are indirectly trying to sabotage the struggle. You see, either you know what you're doing or indirectly you are doing this but you don't know what you're doing. I don't have more to say. I think I've come to the end of this news and I want you to read and listen to this to the end. Members as you share. Cheers.